Hepatitis E, Wikipedia Audio Hepatitis E is a viral hepatitis caused by infection with a virus called Hepatitis E virus. It is one of five known human hepatitis viruses, A, B, C, D, and E. HEV is a positive sense, single-stranded, non-enveloped, RNA icosahedral virus, HEV has a fecal-oral transmission route. Infection with this virus was first documented in 1955 during an outbreak in New Delhi, India. A preventive vaccine is approved for use in China. Although hepatitis E often causes an acute and self-limiting infection with low mortality rates in the Western world, it bears a high risk of developing chronic hepatitis in immunocompromised patients with substantial mortality rates. Organ transplant recipients who receive immunosuppressive medication to prevent rejection are thought to be the main population at risk for chronic hepatitis E. Furthermore, in healthy individuals during the duration of the infection, the disease severely impairs a person's ability to work, care for family members, and perform other daily activities. Hepatitis E occasionally develops into an acute, severe liver disease, and is fatal in about 2% of all cases. Clinically, it is comparable to hepatitis A, but in pregnant women, the disease is more often severe and is associated with a clinical syndrome called fulminant liver failure. Pregnant women, especially those in the third trimester, suffer an elevated mortality rate from the disease of around 20%. Hepatitis E newly infected about 28 million people in 2013. Signs and Symptoms The incubation period of hepatitis E varies from 3 to 8 weeks. After a short prodromal phase symptoms lasting from days to weeks follow. They may include jaundice, fatigue, and nausea. The symptomatic phase coincides with elevated hepatic aminotransferase levels. Viral RNA becomes detectable in stool and blood serum during incubation period. Serum IgM and IgG antibodies against HEV appear just before onset of clinical symptoms. Recovery leads to virus clearance from the blood, while the virus may persist in stool for much longer. Recovery is also marked by disappearance of IgM antibodies and increase of levels of IgG antibodies. Acute pancreatitis, Guillabar syndrome and neurologic amyotrophy, hemolytic anemia in people with the hereditary risk factor glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, glomerulonephritis with nephrotic syndrome and slash or cryoglobulemia mixed cryoglobulemia, where antibodies in the bloodstream react inappropriately at low temperatures, severe thrombocytopenia which confers a risk of dangerous bleeding. While usually an acute disease, in immunocompromised subjects particularly in solid organ transplant patients hepatitis E may cause a chronic infection. Occasionally this may cause liver fibrosis and cirrhosis. Infection with hepatitis E virus can also lead to problems in other organs. For some of these reported conditions the relationship is tenuous, but for several neurological and blood conditions the relationship appears causal. Pregnant women show a more severe course of infection than other populations. Mortality rates of 20% to 25% and hepatic failure have been reported from outbreaks of genotype 1 HEV in developing countries. Besides signs of an acute infections, adverse maternal and fetal outcomes may include preterm delivery, abortion, stillbirth, and intrauterine fetal and neonatal death. Reports about infection of pregnant women with genotype 3 HEV in industrialized countries do exist, but do not report comparable severe outcomes.
the pathologic and biologic mechanisms behind the adverse outcomes of pregnancy infections remain largely unclear so far. Mainly, increased viral replication and influence of hormonal changes on the immune system have been discussed lately. Furthermore, studies showing evidence for viral replication in the placenta or reporting the full viral life cycle in placental derived cells in vitro implicate the human placenta as site of extrahepatic replication. Only one serotype of the virus is known, and classification is based on the nucleotide sequences of the genome. Genotype 1 has been classified into five subtypes. Genotype 2 into 2 subtypes, and genotypes 3 and 4 have been into 10 and 7 subtypes, respectively. Differences have been noted between the different genotypes. For genotype 1, the age at which incidence peaks is between 15 and 35 years and mortality is about 1%. Genotype 3 and 4 the most common in Japan are more common in people older than 60 years and the mortality is between 5 and 10 percent. Genotypes 1 and 2 are restricted to humans and often associated with large outbreaks and epidemics in developing countries with poor sanitation conditions. Genotypes 3 and 4 infect humans, pigs, and other animal species and have been responsible for sporadic cases of hepatitis E in both developing and industrialized countries. In the United Kingdom, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs said that the number of human hepatitis E cases increased by 39% between 2011 and 2012. Acute Infection Hepatitis E is widespread in Southeast Asia, Northern and Central Africa, India, and Central America. It is spread mainly by the fecal-oral route due to fecal contamination of water supplies or food, person-to-person -person transmission is uncommon. The incubation period following exposure to the hepatitis E virus ranges from 3 to 8 weeks with a mean of 40 days. Outbreaks of epidemic hepatitis E most commonly occur after heavy rainfalls and monsoons because of their disruption of water supplies. Major outbreaks have occurred in New Delhi, India, Burma, Kashmir, India, Kanpur, India, and China. Defra said that evidence indicated the increase in hepatitis E in the UK was due to foodborne zoonoses citing a study that found 10% of pork sausages on sale in the UK contained the virus. Some research suggests that food must reach a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes to eliminate the risk of infection. An investigation by the Animal Health and Veterinary Laboratories Agency found hepatitis E in 49% of pigs in Scotland. Hepatitis E infection appeared to be more common in people on hemodialysis, although specific risk factors for transmission is not clear. The disease is thought to be a zoonosis in that animals are thought to be the source. Both deer and swine have been implicated. Domestic animals have been reported as a reservoir for the hepatitis E virus with some surveys showing infection rates exceeding 95% among domestic pigs. Replicative virus has been found in the small intestine, lymph nodes, colon, and liver of experimentally infected pigs. Transmission after consumption of wild boar meat and uncooked deer meat has been reported, as well. The rate of transmission to humans by this route and the public health importance of this are, however, still unclear. A number of other small mammals have been identified as potential reservoirs, the lesser bandicoot rat, the black rat and the Asian house shrew. A new virus designated rat hepatitis E virus has been isolated. A rabbit hepatitis E virus has been described, 
with a study published in 2014 showing that research rabbits from two different American vendors showed zero prevalences of 40% for supplier A and 50% for supplier B when testing for antibodies against hepatitis E virus. Supplier A was a conventional rabbit farm, and supplier B was a commercial vendor of specific pathogen-free research rabbits. The study remarks, HEV probably is widespread in research rabbits, but effects on research remain unknown. Laboratory animal care personnel, researchers, and support staff represent a new population at risk for HEV infection, and research facilities should be diligent in measures to prevention of this possibly zoonotic pathogen. Chronic Infection Other Organs an avian virus has been described that is associated with hepatitis splenomegaly syndrome in chickens. This virus is genetically and antigenically related to mammalian HEV, and probably represents a new genus in the family. Infection in Pregnancy Virology Classification Distribution Transmission the virus has since been classified into the genus Orthohepavirus, and has been reassigned into the Hepaviridae family. The virus itself is a small non-enveloped particle. The genome is about 7,200 bases in length, is a polyadenylated, single-strand RNA molecule that contains three discontinuous and partially overlapping open reading frames along with five and three cis-acting elements which have important roles in HEV replication and transcription. ORF1 encodes a methyl transferase, protease, helicase, and replicase, ORF2 encodes the capsid protein and ORF3 encodes a protein of undefined function. A three-dimensional, atomic resolution structure of the capsid protein in the context of a virus-like particle has been described. As of 2009, around 1,600 sequences of both human and animal isolates of HEV are available in open access sequence databases. Species of this genus infect humans, pigs, boars, deer, rats, rabbits, and birds. The life cycle of hepatitis E virus is unknown. The capsid protein obtains viral entry by binding to a cellular receptor. ORF2 moderates viral entry by binding to HSC70. Animal Reservoir Goldanomycin blocks the transport of HEV239 capsid protein, but not the binding slash entry of the truncated capsid protein which indicates that HSP90 plays an important part in HEV transport. Sanitation is the most important measure in prevention of hepatitis E, this consists of proper treatment and disposal of human waste, higher standards for public water supplies, improved personal hygiene procedures, and sanitary food preparation. Thus, Prevention strategies of this disease are similar to those of many others that plague developing nations. A vaccine based on recombinant viral proteins was developed in the 1990s and tested in a high-risk population in 2001. The vaccine appeared to be effective and safe, but development was stopped for lack of profitability, since hepatitis E is rare in developed countries. No hepatitis E vaccine is licensed for use in the United States. Although other HEV vaccine trials have been successful, these vaccines have not yet been produced or made available to susceptible populations. The exception is China, after more than a year of scrutiny and inspection by China's State Food and Drug Administration. A hepatitis E vaccine developed by Chinese scientists was available at the end of 2012. 
The vaccine called HEV-239 by its developer Xiamen Innovox Biotech was approved for prevention of hepatitis E in 2012 by the Chinese Ministry of Science and Technology, following a controlled trial on 100,000 plus people from Jiangsu province where none of those vaccinated became infected during a 12-month period, compared to 15 in the group given placebo. The first vaccine batches came out of Innovox factory in late October 2012, to be sold to Chinese distributors. Due to the lack of evidence, who as of 2015 did not make a recommendation regarding routine use of the HEV-239 vaccine. National authorities may however, decide to use the vaccine based on the local epidemiology. In terms of treatment, ribavirin is not registered for hepatitis E treatment, though off-label experience for treating chronic hepatitis E with this compound exists. The use of low doses of ribavirin over a three-month period has been associated with viral clearance in about two-thirds of chronic cases. Other possible treatments include pegylated interferon or a combination of ribavirin and pegylated interferon. In general, chronic HEV infection is associated with immunosuppressive therapies, but remarkably little is known about how different immunosuppressants affect HEV infection. In individuals with solid organ transplantation, viral clearance can be achieved by temporal reduction of the level of immunosuppression. The hepatitis E virus causes around 20 million infections a year. These result in around 3 million acute illnesses and as of 2010, 57,000 deaths annually. It is particularly dangerous for pregnant women, who can develop an acute form of the disease that is lethal in 30% of cases or more. HEV is a major cause of illness and of death in the developing world and disproportionate cause of deaths among pregnant women. Hepatitis E is endemic in Central Asia, while Central America and the Middle East have reported outbreaks. Increasingly, Hepatitis E is being seen in developed nations, with reports in 2005 of 329 cases of Hepatitis E virus infection in England and Wales. Genomics In 2004, Two outbreaks occurred, both of them in Sub-Saharan Africa. An outbreak in Chad had several cases with fatalities. The second was in Sudan also with several fatalities. In October 2007, an epidemic of hepatitis E was suspected in Kitgum district of northern Uganda where no previous epidemics had been documented. This outbreak progressed to become one of the largest hepatitis E outbreaks in the world. By June 2009, the epidemic had caused illness in 10,196 persons and 160 deaths. In 2011, a minor outbreak was reported in Tangal, a neighborhood of Dhaka, Bangladesh. In July 2012, an outbreak was reported in South Sudanese refugee camps in Maban County near the Sudan border. South Sudan's Ministry of Health reported over 400 cases and 16 fatalities as of September 13, 2012. Progressing further, as of February 2, 2013, 88 died due to the outbreak. The medical charity Medecins Sans Frontières said it treated almost 4,000 patients. Virus Life Cycle In April 2014, an outbreak in the Bhairat Nagar municipality of Nepal resulted in infection of over 6,000 locals and at least 9 dead. An outbreak was reported in Namibia in January 2018. Two mothers are dead and the total infected is reported as 490. Prevention 
sanitation. Vaccines the most recent common ancestor of hepatitis E evolved between 536 and 1344 years ago. It diverged into two clades an anthropotropic form and an enzootic form which subsequently evolved into genotypes 1 and 2 and genotypes 3 and 4, respectively. The divergence dates for the various genotypes are as follows. Genotypes 1 half 367 656 years ago, genotypes 3 fourths 417 679 years ago. For the most recent common ancestor of the various viruses themselves, genotype 1 between 87 and 199 years ago, genotype 3 between 265 and 342 years ago and genotype 4 between 131 and 266 years ago. The anthropotropic strains have evolved more recently than the others, suggesting that this virus was originally a zoonosis. A study of genotype 3 has suggested that it evolved 320 years ago and that two main subtypes occur. The use of an avian strain confirmed the proposed topology of the genotypes 1-4 and suggested that the genus may have evolved 1.36 million years ago. Genotypes 1, 3, and 4 all increased their effective population sizes in the 20th century. The population size of genotype 1 increased noticeably in the last 30-35 years. Genotypes 3 and 4 population sizes began to increase in the late 19th century up to 1940-1945. Genotype 3 underwent a subsequent increase in population size until the 1960s. Since 1990, both genotypes' population sizes have been reduced back to levels last seen in the 19th century. The overall mutation rate for the genome has been estimated at roughly 1.4 times 10 3 substitutions slash site slash year. This article incorporates public domain text from the CDC as cited. Treatment Epidemiology Recent Outbreaks History